Hey guys, it's Dylan again. I'm here for the February 2021 version of the Boombox Platinum Baseball. So this is the highest tier that um, the Boombox, the original Boombox, has on their baseball collection. So we'll see what they have today. Um, I've got uh, one piece of feedback from last month where um, the gentleman thought that the video was too negative for his ears, so I apologized and thanked him for joining us. However, this is, um, be forewarned, an honest review of what I purchase so that you have something to go by to see if you want to purchase them on a monthly subscription. Um, so, you know, I balance the positives and the negatives, or at least I try to. So here we go. Let's find out what's in the February one. Hope everyone's all right. I'm glad that you are leaving comments. Um, please keep doing that. Um, leave comments about what you'd like to see in the videos different um, or anything. Um, different things you would like me to do a video on. And, well, this is interesting. Oops, I'm tearing the box apart. It's a different box. Most boxes um, don't come out that way. That's interesting. Well, I just ruined a box. Oh, well. Let's see what's in here. We got our monthly popcorn. <laughs> so I reuse the popcorn so it doesn't go to waste. We also have, the one thing I like that they include is a listing of um, the featured products. They don't, they include more than just what the feature products are, but the featured products this month are 2020 Bowman Draft Jumbo, and they include the odds, because of course they take it from a hobby box. The odds of a hit are 1 in 4. Uh, 2020 Bowman's Best, um, hit odds are 1 in 3. Uh, 2020 Bowman Stadium Club Chrome, which I like, um, the odds are 1 in 6. And a 2017 or a 2018 Topps Chrome, where the odds are 1 in 12. So that's pretty cool. I think they probably ran out of product for 2020. Um, but that's pretty neat. I like that they include a jum jumbo in there. And of course they give you more packs. So let's see what they have for us today. I'm going to not take out all the popcorn. They also include um, supplies. And it usually is a snap tight. Uh, magnetic rather. Yep, so they got a 20-point uh, magnetic, so that's cool. No more screw-downs, thank God. Um, they were experiencing the same thing we all were, um, which is a shortage of supplies, so they were including the old screw-downs. They didn't have any of the magnetics, so it is what it is. We're all surviving the COVID. All right, so let's see what we got here. Like they said, we have a 2017 Topps Chrome. We have a 2014 Bowman Draft. That's pretty cool. A do -do, 2015 Bowman Draft. Nice. Uh, the Bowman's Best that they featured. We have a Topps Baseball Update. Stadium Club Chrome from 2020. And a 2020 Heritage Baseball. These are all hobby packs, by the way. And a hobby pack of 2020 Jumbo Draft. So yeah, the difference between the years, this was the regular pack in Bowman Draft in 2015. And in 2020, this is the regular pack. It's called Jumbo, but it's they either have Jumbo or Super Jumbo. So that's pretty cool. Neat comparison. So we'll save that Jumbo for last. Let's go through the Heritage, see what we got for the Heritage. See if we pull any good rookies. Don't often have good luck with a heritage, but the odds are different. Ah, there we go. Rios rookie. Kluber. Award winner is Mike Trout. That's a nice insert card of Mike Trout. He's always worth a little. Uh, Sousa. And another um, Sneed, a rookie. Awesome. I got one in a pack yesterday, and that's why I said another. Let's see if there's any variations here. Sometimes they're hidden, so I look on the backs. Nope, no variations. I think there's a high numbered in there. Oh, this is high numbered. Durr. All right, so there's the Her Heritage high number. Pretty sure that was high number. Let me just double check, guys. Nope, that was regular Heritage. 
Oh no, it was hit high number. Damn, they they really hide that on you. I look on it and I'm like, oh, what is it? It is high number. All right. Let's get on to 2020 Tops update. Let's see what we got in here. These are the, the base cards of Tops, which I still think they do a great job designing. Um, I saw the preview of next year's, which is interesting. Oh, look, we got a thick card. Ooh, cool. It's hard to make a hit in regular Tops update. So here we go. Let's see what we got. Yep, Topsy Turvy Tops <laughs> flip. Yoshi, yeah, I know someone who'd love Yoshi, haha. Uh -huh. He's a th almost 30-year-old rookie. <laughs> Kevin Pillar, Jimenez, Thompson, Lane Thomas, and let's see what this is. It is a memorabilia card, which is considered a hit in the box, of Sonny Gray of the Cincinnati Reds. Cincinnati Reds. Get my soft sleeve here and sleeve that up not too thick so it'll fit in a regular there sunny gray is it numbered nope not numbered but that's cool that can consider a hit and i found a use for these old tins someone sent me a tin that was all marked up of mookie bets so i made it into a a holder for my soft sleeves which is actually pretty convenient i like it let's see what else we got here left in the pack kershaw posey team and Garcilio Stanton, Giancarlo rather. All right, we'll set those aside and get on to some of our premium packs. Yeah, that I'm. This isn't a complaint because I'm so used to the boombox doing it. Um, they always seem to include something like a regular Topps brand, which is Update, um, and either a Heritage or Archives. And I really, eh. It's not that I wouldn't like to see that because, of course, they'd probably just include these and not the other two. So not trying to complain too much. But when you're buying the top tier, you would hope that they would all be premium packs. But at least they're hobby packs. Um, so you can expect to have one or two of those in your um, platinum baseball. But here we have six other packs of the eight that are premium. So let's get to it. Um, man, what should I open? I think I'll start with a stadium club start with the Stadium Club Chrome, which you know this is the first year that it is its own set and not an insert to the regular Stadium Club. So I see an interesting card in there. It's I think they did a good job with this too, and of course I say this all the time when I open up Stadium Club. Um, the photography is just much different and higher quality. Um, well, I don't know, higher quality, different perspectives of um pictures so and we got oh we got a backwards one which usually means an autograph no wow this was a flip <laughs> it's a tops flip that faked us out hmm maybe it's a backwards flip all right that's wow man maybe it still is they keep flipping wonder what i'm missing Mitch Haniger, Corey Kluber, and Jacob deGrom. That's that's a cool picture. I think that's a really cool picture. The chrome's hard to see in this. It makes it hard to see in this. Now you can see my camera lights. Those were really packed oddly. I wonder if I missed a parallel or a refractor. Let me just look real quick here, guys. Looking on the back. Yep, Mr. Refractor. So Mitch Haniger was a refractor card. Oops, that's why. Of course I dropped it. But that's right. I line my wonderful table with fleece, so it's nice and soft. All right. I'll put that up there, Mitch Haniger. So that was a neat pack. I liked that. All right, so let's go in at least chronological order here. Do 2014 first, and then 15 and 17. All right, 2014 Bowman draft, which they had still begun to put in um, Chrome cards. Well, not that that's not the beginning year, but 
I still have some chrome cards in there, which is cool. Whoa, I think that's a thick card. Hope so. Wow. All right, Brian Anderson. First, Bowman first. CJ Edwards. Oh, man, and the chrome just looks awesome. I love this year. I really do. Uh, we got a draft tonight card. So Matt Imhoff. Imhoff. I think I pronounced that right. That's his first card, pitcher. Draft night card of Miami Marlins. We got Blake Anderson and Tyler Kolick. A first of another pitcher, Spencer Turnbull. Yep, no, this isn't a thick card. That's too bad. They were just nicely packed. Brett Martin first, and Derek Fisher first, base cards. But a lot of firsts in there. That's awesome. So I'll sleeve up the chrome cards later. So I'll stack them neatly over there. And okay, I'm on to 2015 Bowman Draft. On the front, anyway, they have Brandon Rogers and Dansby Swanson. And, God, forgive me, I forget who the keep... The key um, prospects in 2015 were, my memory starts to fade a little bit, I have to start looking those up. I think actually, no, because it was 2014 that I think um, my boy Raphael Devers was in with a lot of other people, because these cards are, the, the style just changed significantly from 2014 to 2015. So I believe it was 14, there were a lot of prospects in there. All right, so on to 2015, we have, oh, yeah, I don't like these. It's hard to read the names on these. Um, Ash Russell, pitcher, Kansas City. Josh Naylor, that's a first. And we got what looks like a refractor of Colby Allard. Allard. Ooh, Michael Chavez. Atlanta Braves, no, it doesn't look, kind of looks like a refractor, though. I think it is. It just doesn't have a refractor insignia on it. Michael Chavez, not his first. I think I believe he's in 2014 as well. Uh, Rafael Devers, this is his second card, prospect card. So his first was in 2014. Man, look how young he looks. He's still young. Um, born in 96, so he'll finally turn 25 in October this year. So... And he's been in the majors for two and a half years. Um, Cody Jones and Roman Collins. Roman Collins. All right. So that rounds off the 2015. So let's do 2017 Topps Chrome. Of course, they're all hobby packs, which is cool. I don't see any retail packs in this as I did in... What was that one, the Grand Slam one that we um, did? Although, I, you know, quite honestly, I don't think there was a retail pack in there. I think I was just not familiar with some of the Panini packs. They don't all say hobby on them. So, can't say that. So, 2017 Topps Chrome, we got Hunter Pence of my cousin's San Francisco Giants fan. Eduardo Rodriguez, the Red Sox. Man, that looks like a, it is a refractor. Awesome. That sure does refract that light. Xander Bogarts, two Red Sox and one four four piece pack. That's incredible. Cool. Like that. And Matt Carpenter. Awesome. So not too many rookies that I've seen. A couple prospects, but that's alright. Got some neat cards. Alright, we got two packs left. Bowman's Best and Bowman Draft. This is where the odds start getting more in our favor for hit, having a hit. So let's hope for a hit. Cross our fingers. Ah. Bowman's Best 2020. Let's see what we get. Five cards, I believe. Yep, five cards. Whoa! One of my oversized cards on my wall just fell down. Sorry, guys. Eddie Rosario. Los Angeles. Oh, pardon me, Minnesota Twins. I saw the A here. Um, Cody Bellinger. And a rookie of Jordan Alvarez. Awesome. Jordan Alvarez. I'll put that up there. 
in a second. And an insert of franchise favorites, Chipper Jones. That's cool, a veteran, former player. And Jose Altuve. That's pretty cool. Yep, refractor of Jose Altuve. Awesome. I'll sleeve up the rookie of Jordan Alvarez. It's one of our only key rookies so far. And Jose Altuve refractor. And sorry, Mitch Hanegar, I think you're going to bump down here. I'm going to put Jose Altuve up there. And I'll sleeve up the others later. All right, guys, we're down to our last pack, a jumbo pack of 2020 Bowman Draft, 32 cards. So I might flip through the paper unless there's a key one in there a little faster and see if we got a hit in this. Oh, I don't know. Could be. Could be. All right, our paper, Caden, CJ, Jordan, Hunter, Austin, Oswald, Brennan Davis, Price, Hunter, Holden, and Adley Rushman, second year prospect, Tyler Brown, and our Chrome Refractor. Hmm. I was just looking for the production um, dings on it. I had a whole box of Jumbo that almost two-thirds of the Chrome cards had huge tracks all over the Chrome cards that I'm sending back to Bowman or at least writing them about. All right, so we got Justin Lang, pitcher for San Diego, Josh Young. Now I pronounce it Young, not Jung, just how I was taught. Those are the two refractors, and now we have Jared Jones, Pittsburgh. A lot of pitchers. Braley Horn, Daniel Cabrera, Detroit. A lot of firsts, nice. Hayden Cantrell. Oh, we got a hit. Awesome. Although it's a pitcher, I'll take it. Hit of Cole Henry from Washington Nationals. Nice. That's a base. I believe it's a base. It doesn't look like a refractor. Nope. Let's sleeve that up real quick. And put that on our stands of fame here. I'm going to bump Sonny Gray down a little bit. And bump Jose Altuve. There we go. All right, oops, wrong stack. And an insert of Glimpses of great Greatness, C.J. Ab Abrams. Uh, some more paper, Jaron Duran, Garrett Mitchell, Corbin Carroll, Daxon Fulton, Holt, Colt Keith, Wynn, Rutherford, Jeter Downs, Cade, Miguel Amaya, and Chris McMahon rounds off our last pack. So there you have it guys, that is the February edition of the Boombox. So far we are on a streak. We had a hit last month in January and we had a hit this month in February. Um, I have experienced the gambit of the Boombox, the highest tiers too, of no hits to, I think my, I think my most, I would have to go back and look, was four hits in one, in one month, which was astounding. Um, so. It is a gamble. It is a gambler's game, as you guys know. I've been in this um, for 40 plus years off and on, but it's kind of neat. I like having a box come to my house. Um, I like to see what's in it and open it up, and I'm glad to share it with you guys. So remember, um, if you haven't subscribed, tickle that button right up there, and we'll be back next month. And soon look for a break of at least one of these boxes of Topps Chrome Sapphire update series of 2020. We will be breaking one of those open. All right, guys. Take care and be well.